What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're doing his deck profile right over there. We're doing a hero deck profile. Now last week we did some wake up your elemental hero combos that you need to know and in today's video what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the deck profile because this deck can go first and make some crazy boards. It can go second in OTK all because of the brand new support. Now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week. Five long videos, five short videos. You guys are going to get a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy today's deck profile. With that, let's get right into the video. All right, so just before we get into this profile here, I actually have a question for you guys. I have this deck built like in real life, like I have the cards, but it's just kind of a little bit easier to record and edit when I'm just doing it online. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should do these kind of deck profiles with my real cards with the camera facing down? Or do you guys think this online version is the best way to go? Let me know in the comment section down below. Usually I do it like this, except when I'm at like a locals or in a real life event. However, you know, I have this deck built. I just never really put it together for the video. So anyways, let me know in the comment section down below don't want to take up too much time so let's get into the deck profile here we are of course starting off with three stratos i think you need to be playing three stratos it's obviously your best normal summon of the deck and being able to open this in conjunction with something like hero lives makes it so that you can combo even further because you don't necessarily have to hero lives for the stratos right so that's why i really like having the three stratos being able to draw is really powerful and then funny enough you can hero lives for something like shadow mist which makes it so that you can search your mass change your feed and open that right so that's why i like playing the three stratos speaking of shadow mist though i am playing two shadow mist of course this is something that you'll side out in games two and three. You obviously still want to play the one depending on if you're going first or you're going second. This deck typically, I'm going to be honest with you, wants to go second. I would prefer playing this deck going second. However, I think with this build now with Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, that this deck can very much go first. And there's a lot of Dark Angel combos, which is insane into the Koshtara matchup, right? So that's why this deck is really cool because you can go first, you can go second, and it's still going to be relatively competitive and relatively successful just because of the different things that this deck provides now, right? So again, we're playing two shots. Shadow Mist, the fact that you can get into Dark Claw with DPE going first now, or if you're going second, Shadow Mist can help you go into Anki, which can help push for more damage. Just so many different things you can do with this deck, which is really nice. And then we're playing one Liquid Soldier. I still really like playing the one Liquid Soldier. It's really good follow up, especially if you search it off of your Shadow Mist. You can just hold on to a Liquid Soldier for your next turn to help push for game, especially if you're going first, right? So I really like this card. And there's a lot of combos where sometimes if you just open the Fusion Destiny, I'll actually explain this a little bit more in depth later, but quickly here, if you open open just fusion destiny what you can do is sometimes you can make your dangerous and dangerous just requires a destiny hero and a dark effect monster right so a lot of the times you guys can send the shadow mist if you open the liquid soldier what ends up happening is you don't actually have to use the shadow mist effect to search you can just normal summon the liquid soldier special summon the shadow mist this way you're going to be able to get the mass change in that way right so i still really like the liquid soldier it makes it so that you have follow-up plays but it also makes quote-unquote bad hands really good hands right so if you do open this it is very powerful and then we're playing the one honest neos of course i still really like playing one honest neos i don't think you necessarily need to be playing it this is the card that i guess quote unquote can be cuttable but i still think it's really really powerful especially helping you to push for damage and helping you protect your dark claw as well which is really nice so that's why i'm playing the one neos and then for the vision hero package we're of course playing three ferris one increase and two vion i'm pretty sure this is just the standard package now i know some people are on two increase just in case they draw the one i only like playing the one because i understand that if you draw it it can be brick however at the same time it's like playing two gives you more likelihood of drawing it to begin with and then that just becomes a dead card in your hand versus if you draw the one yes it kind of sucks when you do draw into it but if you only have the one the chances of you drawing into it are a lot less than any other card in your deck essentially and that's why i only like playing the one increase yes you can definitely play it at two i think one is all you're gonna need two vion though is absolutely mandatory you need to be playing two of this then for the destiny hero package we're playing one plasma two malicious as well as one denier lastly we're playing the one dark angel so this is all the destiny hero stuff here and this is why i said this deck can go first and it can go second going first a lot of time you can also set up plasma even if you don't have the best boards you can sometimes set up plasma which is absolutely insane especially in today's format plasma is really good but also something like dark angel is really powerful because if you're able to set up a dark angel you put it on your opponent's side of the field they can't activate any spell cards and then on top of that if you're playing against koshtara they can't even summon their koshtara monsters unless they specifically have birth and a name so then they have to go birth plus a name but then even at that point you could still have a dp on your side of the board you can still have other forms of destruction 
option like Ash, Imperm, and whatnot. So the thing is, it's kind of like one of those things where they have to try to play around this. And if you want to try to crash with this card, a lot of your combos, you can end on your monsters in defense position. So they can't just enter battle phasing out this card, right? So this card is absolutely insane into so many different matchups, but into the Kosh matchup, it's crazy. And then for the fusion spells, we're playing the two polymerization, the one miracle fusion, and three fusion destiny. I think it's just the most consistent. I really like playing two poly. So I know a lot of people were on one poly, but I actually really like playing two. And the reason for this is because it makes a lot of, again, quote unquote, bad hands really good. It just is one of those things where if your opponent has disruptions, it's just another extender for you. The really cool thing about poly is most of the time with this extra deck, any two cards in your hand is bound to get you into something in your extra deck. So for that reason, if you just have poly, it actually just helps you extend a lot further sometimes and it becomes really powerful. So I like playing the two poly, one miracle, of course, searchable of sunrise, and then three fusion destiny. We all know how powerful fusion destiny is. So you got to be playing three and then we're playing three hero lives, of course, to get to your shadows, to get to your shadow mist. It's very powerful. You have to be playing the three of, and on top of that, a lot of the time, if you activate a hero lives, you'll have a lot of gas in your hand. And then you'll be thinking to yourself like, oh, do I need to pay half my life points? The best thing about hero lives, I don't care about my life points. It's ash bait. If I go hero lives and my opponent ashes this and I have a stratos plus a fusion destiny in hand or a stratos plus a Ferris in hand, like you're winning that game. So a lot of the times the really nice thing about hero lives is yes, it's really good. It's a one card combo, by the way, going first into DPE and dark law. Again, that's going to be in the combo video. And I did that last week. So you guys can check that out top of the description. But I will say with this card, it's, it's absolutely insane because not only does it give you a one card combo, but it also is one of those things where it baits out your opponent's hand traps, baits out your opponent's negates, and then you're able to combo through it anyways, right? So that's why I think hero lives is still really powerful at three. And then we're playing three mass change. I'll be honest with you. You can probably cut this down to two just because with wake up your elemental hero, it's a lot easier to get your shadow mist on board, which makes it a lot easier to search your mass change. But I still really like drawing the mass change because this way you have a lot more flexibility in your plays going second of course being able to mass change in the battle phase is very powerful but going first the really nice thing is you don't have to now think of ways to get shadow mist on your side of the board you don't have to do really convoluted plays with your hand if you just open the mass change it just makes it so that you can use that shadow mist grave effect to now search you an honest neos which is just more protection on top of the board that you're going to be creating right so that's why i still like playing the three mass change lastly one rota just for more consistency search your stratos search your shadow mist if you need to so it's just really powerful search your buy on sometimes is a really powerful normal summon so sometimes you know rota just kind of gets you into anything lastly we're playing nine hand traps three ash three nib and three imperm just the best nine hand traps you can be playing in today's format in my opinion ash is just really generic into everything nib is just insane into kosh Tura, so that's why you want to be playing it but it's also really good into a lot of other decks as well and then you can play imperm of course imperm is really good into the floundries matchup into the kosh Tura matchup into the sprite matchup into the branded matchup so there's just so many things that these cards are good into in today's format which is why you just want to be playing these nine or i guess these three but three of each of them because they're just the best ones for today's format so that's it for the main deck it's a 40 card main deck it's very consistent like insanely consistent and something i'm just going to say here real quick before we get into the extra deck is the really cool thing about cards like plasma and dark angel is if you know you're going second in games two or games three they're very easy cards that you guys can side out same thing with shadow miss you can side out one shadow miss if you know you're going second and then it just makes it really easy so that when you're going into games two and games three to put cards from your side deck into your main deck whether it has to be lightning storm or board breakers like dark hole right geki all those kind of cards you can fit those in your side deck and it's really easy to side them in because you have cards like plasma dark angel like shadow mist that you can easily side out going second right so that's the really cool thing about this deck but moving on to the extra deck here we are playing wake up your elemental hero again if you guys don't know the combos with this please make sure to check out the other video because this card alone single-handedly does so many different things for heroes one it's an otk card because it can attack up to the number of materials used for it so if you use four materials it attacks four times it also gains 300 attack for each material they use for its summon so it becomes a big bleeder for you but then on top of that if it's destroyed it can float and special summon a warrior monster from your hand or deck again a lot of the times with these combos you can special summon a shadow mist which is going to get you into a dark law which is really nice right so wake up your elemental hero is absolutely insane on top of that i didn't mention for the otk effect if it destroys a monster your opponent takes burn damage equal to the opponent's monster's attack so it has the flame wingman effect built into it as well we're playing one sunrise of course to get to our miracle fusion part of a lot of our combos dpe of course dangerous i kind of explained a little bit earlier in the deck profile it's really powerful where if you just open like a fusion destiny plus a liquid soldier or something like that because it makes it so that you have access to dark law in different ways and then we're playing the one dystopia i really like this card still because it is a burn card in time which is just so powerful if you just go fusion destiny and you know you're about to go into time you can make dystopia burn your opponent it's actually really powerful in that sense you know i hate the time rules but they are existing and because they exist you have to be playing around them and this card helps you play around them which is really nice and then we're playing two dark law of course one anki one blast blast is really nice because again if you open the mass change and this is why i like playing three mass change as well 
well. It makes it so that you can dodge hand traps, you can dodge Veiler, you can dodge Imperm, because then you can go normal summon Stratos, they go Imperm, let's say, and then you go into Blast, Stratos is going to resolve. They lost that Imperm, and you're still going to be able to gain your advantage, right? Which is really nice. Same thing with Acid. Acid is really powerful because there's times where you make Ab Zero with your Liquid Soldier. Liquid Soldier, of course, is really good also because it gives, helps you draw cards and get deeper into your deck, but making Absolute Zero is absolutely insane wink wink because this card into mass change into acid becomes really powerful because it's a board wipe for you and then for the link monsters we're playing two of the cross crusader one of the wonder driver as well as the one dread decimator i'm pretty sure this is pretty standard here nothing here really stands out in my opinion i think the dangerous and the dystopia are two cards that i recently added in because they're good in just so many different situations but again this is how you play in my opinion hero the most competitively in today's format especially post wake up your elemental hero because i think this card is absolutely insane and again there are touches and changes changes you guys can always make to this deck I'll, I'll explain it right here just quick to end the video if you really want to focus on an otk build of the deck take out plasma take out dark angel and then you guys can play more board breakers you guys can cut a polymerization if you want to go second as well because this way at least three cards here for three more board breakers or three more hand traps so you can go second and try to go for game if you guys are focused more on going first maybe you guys can take out the nibirus and play more cards that can help you go first or also help you just continue your combos so one thing i considered for example is playing only one nibiru and two cross out in the main deck and cross out becomes really nice because you can cross out an ash blossom you can cross out an imperm and you can cross out nibiru which are the three most prevalent hand traps right so maybe cross out is an option called by the graves an option there's so many different things you can do with this deck which is really nice but i think the way it's built right here is really powerful it goes first it goes second and it's always going to be very very consistent so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on elemental hero post maze of memories when we get access to wake up your elemental hero which is an insanely powerful card now if you guys want to see the combos make sure to check out last week's video i'll link it in the top of the description below so that this way you guys can get a good look at that and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu -Gi Oh content just like this one we're on the road to 10,000. we upload five days a week but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five short videos you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoy it with that they go signing out